What you're looking at is not a laptop. This is, and I don't know why that makes me so excited. I was really excited to get this and be like, this is not a laptop. That makes me very happy because this is just a monitor and a keyboard and basically a hub. It's got a whole bunch of ports that you can use with practically anything. This is from Elcro. This is the Crowview Note, an all-in-one portable monitor with keyboard. Now you can get this with a Raspberry Pi 5 and a little adapter that allows you to hook up the Raspberry Pi 5. Yeah, so the idea with this is that sometimes you got a device and you need a screen and you need a com you need basically a whole computer, but it's something small and you don't have a lot of room or whatever, or you're on the go. Well, this allows you to take any hobby board, well, most hobby boards out there, uh, any little computer, any mini PC, maybe a server or something, instantly you've got a keyboard and a monitor all ready to go, plus a bunch of extra ports and stuff. I use OEM keys for a few different reasons. This is the price you're gonna pay for Windows 11 Pro if you get a retail key. Let's check those prices on whokeys.com. $30, you know, we can do better. Put in TS25, click apply. There we go, 2322. You got Windows 11 Pro and Home. Same with Windows 10 Pro and Home. We now have LTSC versions. This version of Windows 10 will give you security updates until 2032. And it doesn't come with any bloat or AI nonsense, no copilot, no recall. The same for Windows 11. The LTSC SC editions are volume licenses usually acquired in the same way you would get an OEM key and we have two flavors of office if you're sick of paying that monthly subscription well you can get yourself an offline version of office 2019 or office 2016 let's go ahead and check out with our copy of windows 11 pro I right, just put in my card info. There we go. Click on view keys and codes. Once you get to the user center, click on get the key. You'll see your key right here in the middle. Go ahead and highlight that, copy that, press start, and then type activate. You'll see activation settings. Go ahead and click on that. And then right here, it says not active. Just click on change product key. Paste in our product key and then click on activate. Hey, look at that, active. Head over to whokeys.com. Thanks to them for sponsoring. And now on to our regularly scheduled program. Now this is a 14 inch laptop, I guess. Well, I mean, it's not really a laptop, but you get the idea. It's 14 inch IPS screen, 100% of the sRGB gamut. Above and beyond that, this does have an internal 5,000 milliamp hour battery and it can do five volts, five amps of power delivery. So you just have to plug in your Raspberry Pi. You don't have to plug up any power or anything. Just plug it into the side. It plugs up the USB, the HDMI, the mini HDMI. Now you've got everything good to go. But this also works with everything else, Windows, Linux, whatever, Mac OS, Android, you can plug your phone up to this and some Android phones do have uh, the ability to have multiple screens. Not all phones, but some of them do and you can run it in desktop mode if you know what you're doing, but I'm not gonna plug up my phone to this, but that's a really interesting use case because if you're traveling and you have a phone that allows you to have external monitors, you know, plug in your phone to this while you're on a plane or a train, have your phone just, you know, in your pocket or whatever plugged in, it'll keep your phone charged at the same time as it allows you to do some work and use you know android in desktop mode now as far as all the devices that it'll work with well they're advertising that it'll work with the banana pi raspberry pi 5 4b 3b uh 3b plus zero the jetson nano development boards it'll work with those and they make adapters for them orange pi 4b uh latte panda v1 beagle bone and the rock pi all have been tested and i imagine uh, you know others will work with this as well just you know plug up your cables differently and it should be just fine so I'm gonna try it out with the Raspberry Pi because I've got a Raspberry Pi hanging out and they sent me the kit that came with uh, the Raspberry Pi adapter and everything. So it's pretty easy, you just snap all the stuff on the side. I will note that the ports on the side of this, the machining around those ports, really tight. So it was actually very difficult to plug it in and, and unplug it. Um, it's really tight, but it after you get it you know, plugged in, it's fine. Um, just, you know, I'm not sure how yours is gonna be, but it's, you know, it's all, all metal on the side, so. But on the other side, we also have what they call a full featured USB type C. That one you can use to plug up other devices like mini PCs or whatever else. I'm gonna use it for my Steam Deck, which works beautifully. And you can run this in desktop mode or you can just have it mirror your Steam Deck screen, but I don't like doing that. I like you know running it in desktop mode so we can take advantage of the full 1080p resolution that we have. And when you do that, it's really cool because now all of a sudden, if you got your Steam Deck and you wanna play some games that are maybe click adventures or something that requires a, a keyboard, well, now you can do that very easily. All the old DOSBox games and stuff, just plug this up to your Steam Deck, and now you can do a world of different things. So I, I really mainly wanted to use it for that because there's a lot of games on Steam Deck where I'm like, I really want a keyboard and a, you know, whatever. Once you get this plugged in, you have a couple different uh, options. You've got, like, if you're plugging in the Raspberry Pi, well, it's going to take up all the ports on that one side. Uh, but if you, you know, are plugging up something else, 
with the full featured type C that's on the other side, well, now you've got some expandability options. Like with the Steam Deck or a mini PC, you can plug that up and then you can plug in controllers or whatever other USB devices that you want to plug in. You also got the USB-C on the other side. So you could plug this up to another hub if you wanted to. You could daisy chain things. So yeah, there's a lot that you could do with this. And then if you have stuff, you know, multiple things plugged up, maybe you've got a Raspberry Pi plugged in on one side and Steam Deck plugged in on the other, you can just easily swap between the different sources. All right, as far as the keyboard goes, um, I think that that's uh, one of the areas that this shines in because it's a decent sized keyboard, you know, for, um, for what, what is like a laptop sized keyboard, but the buttons are in the right spot. In fact, I like the button placement better than I do on my Lenovo products that have the control and the function buttons in weird spots. This one is much more natural for me to work on and type on. So I do really like the button placement on this. It's all up to you. I think the keys feel fine. And we have a nice big touchpad on the bottom. I don't generally use touchpads because whatever, but it's there and it, you know, that's, it's a, it's there if you need it, I guess. And it, it feels fine. I mean, it's a touchpad. How good can they be, right? Well, this one's a pretty good one, I guess. So the 5,000 milliamp hour battery uh, can also be used to charge your devices. So if you're traveling somewhere and you've got your phone or whatever, and you need to charge it up while you plug it in, you can use your phone with this and then charge at the same time. The dimensions on this, it's a 14 inch screen diagonally. And uh, from top to bottom of the screen, it's 8.7 inches, 8.7 inches as well from the, you know, the keyboard area. And then 13.1 inches across it's really thin as well because there's no internals so it doesn't have to be that thick i guess thinner than most chromebooks thinner than most ultra books now in the box they've given us all kinds of stuff we've got a regular usb uh, type a cable we've got our charger right there uh, and then we also have thank you very much for including this an adapter for the hdmi because those things are always a pain if you don't have you know a small hdmi plug you just got regular size so it's nice that they've given us that and then we also have a full feature type C cable. All right, so I, I think I've covered most of this. Um, it's not much else to cover. I just, I, I think it's cool. And I, I got a couple of these now. One of them's in the server room in case I ever need to like actually, uh, you know, plug it in. Because a lot of these little mini PCs that I'm using for servers, they've got USB type four, you know, type four, USB four or just USB 3.2 that also does video. So I can just plug that in. And now, uh, you know, I've essentially got a mouse and a keyboard and uh, a monitor to use with my stuff that's in my server closet. So that's kind of cool, but just being able to use it with the Steam Deck or whatever else, you know, plugging in my Raspberry Pi, that was cool and opening it up and being like, hey, I've got my emulation station installed on this one. So I forgot what was on there, but yeah. So let me know what you think of the Crowview Note. And uh, yeah, what would you use this for? I'm curious. See you in the comments. Mm -hmm.